Celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting, five times a week, Monday through Friday. Here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Friday, December 4th, 2015. And here are some of today's trends in the news. On the market front, let's start over there in Asia. Uh, They didn't like what happened in the United States on Thursday, so uh, Shanghai went lower, over 1% down. Nikkei, down 2%. And Hang Seng barely hung in there, but went down. And over in Europe, on the flat line, but on the negative side. But here in the States, big story, big story. Job numbers came out. That's right. Beat expectations by a little bit. So go back to yesterday's trends of the news. And I'm mentioning this because it's a trend tracking tip. People ask me all the time, how do you forecast trends? How do you forecast trends? When you've been at it a long time, there used to be a saying we used to have in the Bronx. Bullshit has its own sound. So when I was going off yesterday on yelling, I believe, I know, yeah, it's bullshit. She knows because she was told. You think they're not letting them know the numbers? So you could tell by what she said and the way she said it that the numbers were going to be high. So here's yesterday's tape. Fed Chair Yellen said today that economic data since October is consistent with the central bank's expectation of an improved job market. Quote, I, me, I who know everything, currently judge that U.S. economic growth is likely to be sufficient over the next year or two to result in further improvement in the labor market. Ongoing gains in the labor market, coupled with my judgment that longer-term inflation expectations remain reasonably well anchored, serve to bolster my confidence in a return of inflation to 2%. So, tomorrow's the big day. That's when we're going to see November's job numbers. They're looking for almost 200,000. I would suggest from what she's saying... She's tipping the hand. They know what the number is already. So you're probably going to see a pretty strong job report is my estimation from what they're saying. So then again, go back to Thursday. Market sell-off as fresh draggy bid to boost growth disappoints. Yep. The European Central Bank pledged to continue $60 billion dollars a month bond buying program for another six months until March 2017, quote, or beyond. Of course, they lowered the discount rate to 0.3, minus 0.3 from minus 0.2. Markets were expecting an increase in the monthly purchase, according to some analysts. Quote, keeping a big bazooka for another day may not be a bad strategy. Yeah, that's according to Marco Verrilli, an economist with Unicredit. Big bazooka, that's the way that they talk. It's a fraud. But the numbers came out and things moved up. And why say it's a fraud? Because all it's doing is boosting the equity markets. 2015 is the year of the deal. Little story buried here on the Wall Street Journal. A slew of smaller takeovers announced Wednesday officially made 2015, the biggest year ever for mergers and acquisitions. That pushed 2015 to date 
ahead of 2007's total when the previous record of 4 trillion 296 trillion of mergers was stuck. At this pace, 4.7 trillion of mergers will be signed by 2015. Again, that's all it's doing. And then yesterday, oil climbs ahead of OPEC meeting. Well, it climbed down today because OPEC's not doing anything. It's out of control. It's a supply and demand issue. And then again, you look at these job numbers. Manufacturing has not created jobs actually since around January. The trend line in manufacturing has been flat. They're showing increases in jobs in retail. Sears revenue <laughs> drops 20%. You saw the lousy numbers coming out of the retail sector. Oh, and they increased past months. That's why the market went up. Colombian peso leads losses in emerging markets as oil tumbles. Again, we're looking at oil prices now. West Texas today briefly went under $40, closed basically at $40 a barrel. And you're seeing one of these countries after another, their currencies collapsing, inflation going up, and they got a lot of debt. $225 trillion debt bubble has been built with all this fake money. And they got to pay it back in dollars. NACM's Credit Managers Index returns to negative trend. Every subcategory within these indexes also declined with four out of six unfavorable categories in contraction territory. And we're looking at the um, both manufacturing and service sectors experienced a decline this month, according to their November report. Show me where the growth is. Given the overall data that has been emerging as far as the economy's overall strength, this is not a big surprise but still disappointing, according to ANACM. One disappointing piece of information after another. Hey, remember Obama was going to double exports? Yeah, right after he closed Guantanamo and pulled all those troops out of Afghanistan. Oh, and I'm not going to sign that to uh, rob you any more of your rights either with the National uh, the Patriot Act or any of that. Yeah, yeah well, they, guess what? Government shows worsening trade performance, <laughs> all right, in the last, in November. Today, the Bureau of Economic Analysis reported the U.S. goods exports have fallen to a four-year low. The year-to-day trade deficit has widened 5.3% over the last year. So there you got it. Everything that he has done has been failure. Everything they all do is failure. Every one of them are failures. Bush, Obama, Clinton, Republicans, Democrats, all they do is lie. Make big promises that they never keep, and you and I can never get away with this. Could you imagine taking a job, running a company, or any business, not even running it, working in it, and promising you're going to excel in your field and fail at everything that you do. And not only do they keep you there, they give you more money. That's the government in a country near you. China's survey altered landscape hit by commodities collapse. This is from the Financial Times. It shows here that Africa's single largest trading partner is China. Standard Bank experts expect the value of African exports to China to fall by as much as 40% in value terms year on year in 2015. All right, where are these people in Africa going to go? From Ghana, Nigeria, Algeria, Niger. 
South Africa, Zambia, I talked about. Where do you think they're going to go? El Norte, looking for jobs. Pile them on top of the refugee crisis. Maron, hey, Europe, you better get a little bigger because there are a lot of people going to be coming there. On a positive trend note, Google sets its sights on virtual reality battle. I'm telling you, tune into this at every level that you possibly can. Virtual reality is going to be a big game changer. Right now, it's only in the game and entertainment sector. It's going to really be big, and I believe it's going to be the precursor of new millennium education. You say, all these young kids are growing up, bam, they're on this thing, these electronic things from infancy. It's their natural way these days, as unnatural as it is. But hey, the whole damn education system stinks anyway. It was designed to keep you really stupid and just follow orders. It was an industrial age mechanism. This may be an advancement. I'm telling you, key into it. And again, I want you to go back to the trend tracking tip with Yellen. Again, read things to what they are. Read between the lines. Study the information. You can see where that was going particularly if you're a person that speculates in the markets. Oh, and gold went up today. Now me, I would have thought gold would have gone down on the information that the job numbers were high, but gold was up 25 bucks. So, on to some other news right up here, not far, right over there. Upstate sheriff urges residents to carry guns. This is out of the Wall Street Journal. This made national news. An upstate sheriff created a stir online Thursday after he posted a Facebook message encouraging licensed handgun, licensed handgun owners to keep their weapons on them in light of this week's mass shooting in California. People ask me, am I for gun control? No, I'm not. Because I believe in the Constitution. How about that? Can you handle that? The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Fourteen words. Add it up. A war on guns will be as ineffective as a war on drugs. There are 340 million of them out there. The people that want to get them to do dirty deals are going to get them. Just like you want to get your drugs, you're going to get them. So... Any, all you liberals out there that we're going to have gun control, it's not going to stop anything. And if you want gun control, all you frauds and fakes that believe in your Obamas and your Clintons and all your other liberal bullshit, start with the military. Not a peep about peace from you little swarmy little liberals. Not a peep about it. Yeah, let's close down all the bases. Let's occupy peace. Let's stop going into foreign countries. Let's demilitarize. Hey, you want gun control? Start at the top or shut your mouth. Oh, and then after you finish with them, get the police. Yeah. Get rid of their, their armored vehicles, all these things, dressing them up, standing there as you're going shopping down the city, and they got all this stuff. Get rid of their guns too. Then come talk to me. But before you do that, amend the Constitution. But hey, you know what Obama's done to the Constitution? The same thing Bush and Clinton did to it. Just tore it up. On to some other news. I have to be corrected. I stand corrected. I put up that video yesterday of Obama lying to us with no boots on the ground. He keeps saying it. You saw it. How stupid of me. Obama was on uh, CBS, yeah. The clown broadcasting system. Obama also told CBS that when he promised no boots on the ground in the fight against ISIS, that Americans understood him to mean no battalions. And not that he wouldn't send any troops. When I said no boots on the ground, I think the American people understood generally. We are not going to do an Iraq-style invasion 
of Iraq or Syria with battalions that are moving across the desert. Liar. Nah. I'm an American and I'm not stupid. I know what no boots on the ground means and I know what bullshit sounds like and I know what a traitor looks like. Get in line. Hillary, Obama, Samantha Powers, Susan Rice, George W. Bush, Senior Bush, Cheney, you're all traitors to America. You keep robbing us of our rights and you keep slaughtering people in the name of getting off on your own sick mind. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's Trends in the News.